Buonasera everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Noura and today is another episode in my new series Goodbye 2020. Welcome 2021. Today is the last episode in the series and today I am going to share with you my wish list for 2021. And this would include the things I want to buy, to try, and I think most importantly the things or the habits and life changes that I wish to acquire in 2021. As usual, I will start with fragrances as it is my favorite thing in the world, at least for now. So I have here <laughs> everything written so I don't uh, like forget anything. So I have a list for, uh, for things that I want to buy and a list for, for things that I want to try. And as I like really uh, bought a lot of fragrances uh, last year, some are still in their boxes because they are summer fragrances. Uh, actually, I don't have like a very uh, big list for uh, perfumes that I want to buy. So for perfumes that I want to buy, uh, I have here the uh, Yves Saint Laurent uh, Cinema which I did try on my skin, tried on paper and to be honest I didn't try uh, this fragrance enough to buy it. So in normal conditions I would retry this fragrance more than once. But since I actually think this fragrance is going to be discontinued because it's going uh, out of stock uh, everywhere and um, the, it doesn't come back so I'm just waiting for like a good deal and I think I will buy it uh, because um, it's I think it's a classic and from trying it, it uh, it's just uh, it reminds me a little bit of like the vibe from Chanel classic fragrances, like not classic fragrances, it reminds me a little bit of Chanel fragrances like uh, Gabrielle uh, uh, Essence. Um, I mean, this very uh, fresh, classic, floral uh, fragrances. So this you can't you can't go wrong with a fragrance like this, and I think it's like a a classic piece to have. So the next one is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one intense and um, I remember uh, falling in love with it. I didn't test it on my skin, with, which I should do. So I think this fragrance I will try on my skin first, but it was like I, I was immediately in love with it. I, I, I do think that even testing it on my skin I will like it. So next I have Chanel Coco. So Chanel Coco is my ultimate um, favorite fragrance for about 20 years. But now it's disrowned by uh, Ver Malakit from Armani. Uh, my problem is that um, the one I have is really old and I think it went bad. So I have to uh, buy another uh, bottle. I think this fragrance will be always in my fragrance collection. This was my first fragrance and my favorite for so long. It's attached, I attach this fragrance with so much memories and like real periods of my life so I can't live without it. Um, next in my to buy list is Aqua di Parma Fico di Amalfi. Uh, I think I talked <laughs> like too much about uh, the Blue Mediterranean line from uh, uh, Aqua di Parma and uh, my third uh, favorite is Fico di Amalfi. Uh, it's not love at first sniff but um, I did test wear it and tested it during summer a little bit so um, it's not like I love it but every time for, for strange reason when I uh, where is this fragrance? I always feel so confident. So I thought uh, this fragrance um, has to be in my collection. 
And uh, next I have a Givenchy Lanterdi and as I talked about um, the, it's one of the best releases in 2020 uh, and it's um, it's a kind of a mysterious like like the bottle so if you see the bottle uh, it's the fragrance smells <laughs> almost like the bottle so it's dark mysterious edgy but absolutely beautiful and uh, on my skin it turns to this beautiful patchouli and vetiver so it's not like vanilla and floral on my skin it pulls more toward a patchouli and vetiver and that right now but in such a gorgeous way i absolutely love it it's such a unique fragrance next i have hugo alive and i have to admit this is one of the fragrances that is on my wish list now since it was released but it always um, comes last for some reason so yeah it's on the list but i don't know if i will actually buy it or not next i have from elisa le parfum this is another classic again a disclaimer i don't really like this fragrance it has um, a honey note and i don't like honey although uh, recently i tried some fragrances with honey that were um, that uh, I was not really bothered by, like uh, Scandale à Paris, uh, Scandale by Night, and so another fragrance that I don't remember now, but somehow I was not bothered. So, um, if I have the chance to test the fragrance, I will test it before buying it, but if I don't, I think I will buy it because, uh, spoiler alert, uh, I already filmed um, a video or more than one video so featuring uh, my new uh, fragrances that I bought and I have a lot of Elisa so it's kind of um, I didn't hate it and it's a classic and at the same time it will be like I will have like a beautiful collection of uh, Elisa uh, uh, perfumes and that said it is not like I'm not really sure that I will go through with it. Then I have uh, some fragrances that I actually want to uh, try. Further try or tr just try. Dear Girl Hypnotic from uh, the Hypnotic uh, Poison line. Um, a lot of people talk about it. I remember smelling it, but not like recently, a long time ago, and not falling in love with it. But since I noticed that my uh, taste changed, uh, I thought I would give it a chance since everybody is talking about it. Next on my list is Ariana, Ariana Cloud. Again, the same. I uh, smelled it, didn't like it, but since everybody is talking about it, the same. Next one is Lancome La Nuit Trésor à la Folie. And uh, um, initially this was not on my list, but um, since I bought like uh, a Caress, uh, La Nuit Trésor Caress, and um, really liking it, I am now willing to give La Nuit Trésor, um, other flankers, I mean, uh, a chance. Um, again, Lancome Midnight Rose, uh, again a fragrance that I smelled really long, long time ago. Next is, as I said in my uh, video where I listed my uh, most used fragrances in 2020, I want to uh, test and smell the rest of the Jador line since I love the original so much. I also want to test uh, the, the new, like one is new, one is old. So the two versions of Coco Mademoiselle, the, one, the intense one and the Lot Privé, which was recently uh, launched. Uh, I have the original one and I don't like it. Uh, I have also Paco Rabanne uh, Olympia and Olympia Aqua, which I'm mostly interested in. The Legend one I did smell, I don't like it, it's too much for me. And yeah, another one that I actually want to uh, try is Hugo Boss Deep Red. <laughs> this is like a very old fragrance, um, but I can't find it anyway. I don't know what happened that made me uh, like uh, remember this fragrance. So this fragrance came out when I was in college, I think, and I remember I liking it. So it was, if I'm not correct, if I'm correct, it's like a um, oriental uh, deep uh, 
like the bottle. Uh, I mean, this is how I remember the things. I could be totally wrong and it smells totally different. I can't find this fragrance anywhere, but when if I if I do, I want to re-smell it. And if not, maybe I would blind buy it since I always wanted to own this fragrance when I was in college and I don't know why I didn't buy it. Uh, so yeah, I want to smell it and if not, maybe try, maybe buy it. Uh, again, another fragrance that I did try and um, and liked but didn't test it further was a Chloe Nomad Absolute Eau de Parfum. So these are uh, like my fragrance that I want to try. Uh, next, I have brands that I want to try. And these include Tom Ford, as I said before, uh, I'm starting really to like <laughs> Tom Ford. Um, I have from uh, Tom Ford the uh, Low uh, de Soleil Blanc and uh, Black Orchid. I am also really intrigued uh, by the Armani Privé line and I want to further try it uh, from like the private line. Um, next will be uh, niche fragrances or niche brands, let's say. And my wish list for 2021 is to um, this, not to buy so much fragrances, but to uh, spend the money in uh, buying like discovery sets and the samples, or maybe if I find a good uh, subscription service. Uh, so I can test more of niche brands like I'm mostly intrigued by Parfum de Marly, by Francis Gertrand, by Initio Parfum, uh, BDK, all these uh, niche fragrance houses. And spoiler alert, I already placed two orders of two of the most famous niche uh, uh, fragrance houses. And I'm thinking about uh, doing further research for uh, more discovery sets. I did also uh, found a discovery set from uh, the private line from Dior, which I'm very intrigued to try. It's just that it's not a discovery set. It's more like a miniature of um, the perfumes. Uh, so it's not like a real sample. Sorry, it's my cat. She's <laughs> moving the camera uh, so uh, it's quite expensive so this one is like um, I don't know it's a maybe because I never tried no actually I did try Feb Delicious which by the way guys is not discontinued I don't know why everybody is saying that this fragrance is discontinued it's not it's actually not uh, so I, I still can't find it on my uh, on the website and last time I went to the department store I did uh, smell it and I even asked um, the sales uh, person and she said no it's not discontinued it, it's only a like you find it only in the uh, boutique and the stores from Dior so I don't know why they say that it is being discontinued I can't find it uh, easily so I don't know so anyway, um, I will. This is one of my like wish lists and resolutions for next year: not to buy so much fragrance, but like to um, focus more on uh, discovering more um, brands and types and maybe notes that I'm not so familiar with, and maybe uh, then deciding to buy one or two from the real expensive fragrances. Next on my wish list are um, makeup products. I just uh, get obsessed with something every now and then and want the best of, like, for example, the best bronzer, the best mascara, the best eyeliner, the best eyeshadow palette. I just go on this quest for the best and I will buy a lot of products just to, uh, like, uh, find my holy grail. Uh, so it's I am not a person who loves to try makeup or new products for makeup but I do want to find the one that works for me the best and then 
just stick with it. At least this is what I tell myself. <laughs> anyway, um, so last year I went on this quest to find my perfect mascara and my perfect bronzer. And yeah, by the way, usually I don't find like the holy grail, the perfect uh, product. And I think that can be applied on mascara last year. Uh, I have so much and I uh, didn't fall in love with any. Bronzer, however, I think I, I, I found a product that I love, but not totally. So, so this year I'm not going to buy any mascara because I have like six mascaras that are still unopened which I want to try and as you know mascara does live for six months and I'm not like someone who just opens a mascara and if he doesn't like it throw it away no even if I hate the mascara I will continue use it, using it uh, it's just how I am anyway so bronzers I, I am really intrigued to uh, try the Fenty one which I already placed an order and I waited for a month and every time I check on Sephora site it was uh, not even shipped so after a month I said okay now it's even like Christmas is over so now at least they can ship it so I sent an email and uh, surprise they just cancelled the order so Fenty cream is on my wish list again uh, I think after Fenty mm, bronze cream, maybe the one that I'm intrigued by, but I think the price is just crazy, is the Tom Ford uh, Shade and Illuminate. So practically is not on my wish list. I'm intrigued, but it's not on my wish list. Um, I I also want to get a deeper shade from the butter bronzer from. Uh, physician formula because I love it. I love it. It's just too um, like too light for me. So this is from like my last year uh, obsessions. This year I am searching for my favorite foundation. I also on my wish list is already the Hollywood Flawless uh, Filter um, Highlighter, the highlighter one from Charlotte Tilbury. I already tested this product because I had it in a tester and I absolutely love it. So I have this one as a highlighter. Um, I also am intrigued with the contour wand from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, but um, not exactly like on my priority, if you know what I mean. Uh, I have some powders that I want to try. I want to try uh, also the one from Charlotte Tilbury, the airbrush uh, flawless powder. I know the one for under the eyes. I also want to try from Laura Mercier the, um, the translucent uh, powder. Um, uh, and yeah, and I think this is everything for makeup. Yeah, I want also a brush. I am looking for a br two brushes actually. I want a brush for under the eye that I can use for under the eye and uh, like setting for, for uh, powder and for highlighter. Uh, and I want a small smudge uh, brush um, for my eyeshadow and this is uh, I think this is everything that I have on my wish list for makeup wise. So these is our like the things I want to try or to buy. And now let's talk about habits and lifestyle changes that I want to do. And again, we have our Lily. Lily. Yeah, she, when she sees me filming, she comes right away. Anyway, um, so life uh, style changes. So my first wish for 2021 is to return uh, um, to practice yoga every day. So I love yoga and I did, uh, I started practicing yoga a long time ago. Uh, I think I was in college, so I think like 15 years ago, or so maybe more. <laughs> um, 
Um, but I really started to do it like every day um, for now two years and a half. But then I stopped so around October uh, YouTube uh, because I started to really like uh, do an effort and like editing and so in October. So the time I dedicated uh, for yoga or uh, sports in general went to the YouTube channel. So my goal would be to find a routine or a schedule that I can stick to without feeling pressure uh, so I can do have the time to do yoga or also like do some exercises which I stopped now since lockdown uh, and I'm gaining weight and I'm not happy about it at all so I want to fix this uh, problem I want to uh, at least go back to yoga maybe not like twice a day that I did before but at least once uh, maybe in the morning so this is would be my first wish for 2021 uh, my second one uh, goes hand in hand with the yoga one uh, which is and sleeping early and waking up early so I think the best thing for me is to practice yoga in the morning uh, so if I my problem is that also I have my son when he wakes up I have no time to do yoga because he is there he wants something I have to get him ready for for a kindergarten and so on so it's not working so, so I have to find the time before him waking up and so I have to go to bed earlier and so this is like my second uh, like wish third one is to stop using my phone um, at least an hour before sleeping because um, or just put the phone somewhere else and not uh, in my bedroom because uh, once I go in bed with my phone I just go from one uh, YouTube channel to another to one website to another and before I know it it's midnight so this will be my third uh, so I think all three are going like hand in hand Next is more uh, of a diet or maybe a health uh, a habit that I want to finally get to do and this is to quit uh, sweets or quit sugar. So not was that, like two years ago I did and I don't know how I did two months without any sugar at all and I felt incredible but then I returned uh, like eating like normal so uh, and I and I tried to return to this, this like to have like this, have this willpower to stop eating any sugar but I just can't I can't I don't even know how I did it two years ago but I did a lot of diets and the only diet that really works is the one that you can do for the rest of your life and I'm just not in the place now where I you mean psychologically um, can handle a pressure of going through a diet and working with the issues that I am going through in my personal life so I don't have for shockingly, I don't have any kind of wishes in that regard. I yes, I I, I would love to lose weight, uh, but just practically uh, thinking, for now this is my focus: return to yoga and maybe hopefully also um, exercising and so and cutting sugar out of my diet. Another, uh, another wish for me in 2021 is to return to read. So I love, re or used to love reading. I read, I have like a 
huge library but since i moved but since i moved in this house we are still not really finished with everything so uh, my whole books are in boxes in uh, our garage so my wish is to cut uh, on the time I spend on my phone uh, actually watching uh, YouTube and dedicate more of that time to reading although that said I usually use uh, like watch YouTube while doing something so I don't know if it will work but I uh, this is like my wish and I have to, my so I have to find a way for each and every uh, single habit that I just set. So the interesting thing is that if I compare my wish list for of 2020 to the one of 2021, uh, in 2020 my expectations were here and now my expectations <laughs> are like here. But it's okay because I actually believe that focusing on one thing but like making it a part of your life is much better than having a whole list of habits or things that you want to do and start all of them or half of them and then quit so uh, i don't i'm actually quite satisfied by these wishes and it's not because i think no you can't do it no it's just what i feel inside that this is what i need now so I'm calling it, I'm calling these like changes and wishes uh, like my wishes for 2021, but I actually uh, quite, but I actually quite often go through them and modify them. So it's not like I have this, these are my yearly goals and these I have to do. I actually um, modify them while I am um, like going through my life and this is everything uh, I hope you liked this video and if you did please give it a thumb up it will really help me and I hope you liked the whole series and if you didn't check my other videos uh, from the series I will leave them linked down below uh, this is my final episode and I will return to my normal routine uploading two videos a week. See you next time. Ciao!